Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer now. Give yourself to prayer and fasting now that you are young. Create a base for your life to rest. Because if you build your life by the reality, a time will come when the storms will come. And when the storms come, people that build their life in this peripheral dimension, they will have a lot to cry about because there will be so much losses. It is in a time of storm, the time of disaster, that people that build their lives on the reality will begin to rise. That's the testimony of a God that is bigger than everything that eyes can see. In order for you to know a spirit, you must be delivered from self. Your steam, your agenda, this is your purpose. Because when you begin to know the Holy Spirit, He will begin to give you another, another focus, another emphasis for your life. In fact, you don't even get to know who you are in God, except you begin to make Jesus, you begin the Holy Spirit, your focal point, your pursuit. Because as you press into God, you begin to discover yourself in God. A young man came to me and said, he has seen the wife he wants to marry. I said, do you know the purpose of God for your life? He said, he's still trying to find out. I said, you are not qualified to bring a woman into this confusion. You know, ladies suffer. Please, just say, Lord have mercy on all the ladies. Just, Lord have mercy. A confused man that doesn't know God is coming to bring somebody and to attach the person to his confusion and problems. You are not going anywhere, but you need a helper. I don't understand the, But God will help us in Jesus' name. As you plunge into the Holy Spirit, you begin to discover yourself. Should I tell you something? Life in the New Testament, as prescribed by the New Testament, is a journey that you'll be guided into by the Holy Spirit. It's a spirit journey. Do all kinds of Bible study you want to do. If these people are not praying, they are not prayerful, they are not fasting, so that their spirit can touch God Himself. They will never grow. Teach them anything you want to teach them, their life will not change. I've been in the I've sat in the office of a teacher for more than 18 years. For 12 of those 18 years, eh, I was beating about the bush, trying to put scripture inside their head so that the they became knowledgeable in scripture and they became terrible people with scripture. Then I discovered that until the spirit be poured upon us from on high, the wilderness will still be the same. The sin, sin in their lives will still be there. Until the spirit, everything works until the essence comes down. From the day I discovered that, I knew Christianity was easy. We are the ones that made it complicated. Hmm... I've seen people before two years, some of my converts, two years in the Lord. Heavy people. Because we took them away from the distraction that many people that give their life to Christ go through. Push them into prayer. Push them into fasting. Eh? The, the hunger in them will make them study the Bible by themselves. The hunger in them will make them look for God. And God will begin to become real to them. Are you with me? I went to preach somewhere and a lady, I didn't know that she was sent from the water. To come and, according to her, they, they say they sent her to come and. I don't know what to do, but they sent her to do, but they say they sent her. Okay. And they gave her some equipment. The equipment they said they gave her was in her eyes. That she just makes sure she times me and then make our eyes to jam. Kabbalah. You don't need to prepare for that if you know the Holy Ghost. That was the first time I was given the opportunity to preach in a Catholic church. They gave, the brother that struggled to invite me there gave me grand rules. Say, don't speak in tongue. And he, he repeated it again. Don't speak. Don't speak. <laughs> don't speak in tongue. So I came and I, he said, this one you walk round the pulpit. No, 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 we don't do that. Stand, just stand there. <laughs> Remain there. And don't be led to raise a song in the midst of your sermon. Don't be led. 
So I was by the pulpit. And I was just preaching. And I was just preaching. I was just preaching. I was just preaching. And then she was there in the meeting. Trying to gaze, to look at the eyes. I was just doing my own business. And then when I got to a point, they became excited. I said, oh, you can be excited. I said, all right, let's make it good. I told the man to keep up. Okay. <laughs> you just play this tune. And the guy played. And they forgot that they gave me rules. And then we sang the song. I said, right now, some God himself has taken over. 80% of the people in the hall began to manifest demons, all kinds of spirits. Including the leader. That was a woman. I blew on her and demons. They brought my friend to panel the next day. It was that woman that demons left that delivered him. See, they, it will continue like that. Their lives with the demons will be there until the spirit be poured from on her. Your Christianity, you can, you can be pious and sacramental. There's a way you dress so that people will know that you are for the Lord. We did that for many years. We're dry and we're liars. I did religion more than you. We're empty inside. We didn't know God, but we, there, there's a way we, we behave so that people say, that guy is, is sold out. He's, a, he's, he's carnality on display. Until the spirit be poured, you will be carrying, doing that or this thing like that. Empty. We went into the woods, into the, on the mountains to look for God. When we knew that our work with God was dependent on our affinity with the Holy Spirit. Many people didn't believe those days. They didn't believe. So when we're going, they say, something has possessed us. But you see, if you don't understand, give it 10 years. Then you know who found God and who did not find Him. 10 years later, I met those brethren still doing that old religion and trying to bridle believers from knowing the Holy Ghost. 10 years later. I will open up my eyes And I will see you I will see you In the book of Ephesians chapter 1 Paul tries to give us A knowledge of the foundation of all things He said that everything began From a desire that was sustained in God's heart God just sat in eternity And he just had a desire you are a product of a desire. <laughs> he just had a desire. And on the strength of the desire he had, he now developed a purpose from that desire. And from the purpose he developed, he now established a will from that purpose. And from the will that he established, he now set up an administrative procedure to bring in that purpose to pass. That's what Paul told us. That everything began from the heart of God. Let me show you that before we move. Ephesians chapter 1. Turn with me. 